Welcome to the University of Limerick Open Day. My name is Jan McCarthy and I am course director for the BSc Midwifery Programme. Um, I'm representing the Department of Nurse in Midwifery um, and I will take you through um, a few slides that talk about the university in general and also about um, the programmes of nursing imagery that you um, are interested in. So initially the first slide I have here for you just talks about some of the unique qualities of the University of Limerick. Um, our graduate employment rate is higher than the national average for the past 10 years. Um, work experience, we we're one of the first universities to introduce the co-op work experience which is highly regarded by employers and by the students with great, get great experience. We have one of the largest international exchange programs um, in any university in Ireland. In 2019, UL was voted um, the best student campus um, because of the world-class facilities. And we have introduced in the last number of years um, our support mechanisms for our first year students in particular, uh, the first seven weeks programs, which it helps to, is it aims to help students to integrate into college life um, and how to study in college, uh, how to make friends, what to do, all about joining in and, and linking in and learning while you're in third level. Um, and the, po the poster, the picture that we have here beside your, our two of our students, our graduates who um, as students presented posters at an intellectual disability conference and represented uh, the Department of Nursing Midwifery and UL uh, very well. Uh, just a few other the facilities. We have one of the largest campus libraries in Ireland. Um, we have six on-campus student villages dotted throughout the campus. Um, our teaching facilities, we can teach large and small scale teaching rooms, tutorials, practice placements. And I suppose in relation to the Department of Nursing Midwifery, we have our clinical skills labs uh, where you as a student of the Department of Nursing Midwifery would have opportunities to practice clinical skills um, before you go out on practice placement and um, meet patients, women, uh, clients, service users before you actually have to practice on real people. So we have patient simulation um, uh, um, rooms. There's student, student labs where you can practice on your own as well, or practice in groups and cohorts. And we would advise you to practice in little groups together. We have a relaxation suite and communication suites which, to help you to um, how to communicate with um, your colleagues, with, your, with our patients and clients. Um, and just how to help self care as well in, in, in minding yourself during this during your student years, but also when you're a qualified uh, registered nurse or midwife. Uh, UL also has a very large sporting campus. Um, the sports arena is available and, and there for all to use. We have a 50 meter pool, a 25 meter uh, diving pool. Uh, there's athletic tracks boathouse, indoor rowing, and then over 30 acres of pitches, and um, one of large Ireland's largest all-weather flood-lit facility. Uh, the, in relation to the sports as well, um, a lot of our students, um, and it's something that we would encourage, a lot of our students would actually um, link in with the clubs and societies and take on new things that they never have done. So some of our student nurses and midwives would have taken on um, rowing, um, archery, um, rugby, things that they would never have done in the past. And this is just another opportunity for them to try something new um, and also a great way of meeting um, students from other courses. Um, and it's something that we would encourage um, and it's good for everybody involved. Uh, in relation to the Department of Nursing and Midwifery, um, our department is led by our head of department, Dr. Pauline Meskell, and our professor in nursing, Dr. Alice Coffey, our professor Alice Coffey. Um, then um, the programs are led by course directors, senior lecturers and lecturers, allocations team, clinical skills and administration. And if you become a student in, of one of our programs, you would um, you will get to know all of the people in these um, areas because we've been closely linked with you throughout the four years of the programme. So our undergraduate programmes, we have four undergraduate programmes that we're really talking about um, during these open days. 
That's our BSc Nursing General Programme, our BSc Nursing Mental Health, our BSc Nursing Intellectual Disability, and then the BSc Nursing um, Midwifery Programme. And they are all undergraduate four-year honours degree programmes, which at the end of the programme, um, if you successfully complete it, you will be eligible to register as a registered nurse or midwife with the Nursing Midwifery Board of Ireland. Uh, in order to um, become a student of the Department of Nursing Midwifery, um, there are some key CAO um, data or dates that you need to be aware of. Now, we've given you a link to the CAO application process, um, and it's very good to have a look through it and see what it says. And, and um, the next slide, what I've given you here, are just the main dates that you need to be aware of um, so as a mature applicant or as a normal applicant so again as normal for every year um, closing date for the application to the CAO is the 1st of February um, of each year so 1st of February of 2022 um, 5 p.m um, and they're very strict on those closing dates um, then the mature applicants and we'll talk about those a little bit a little bit later on um, they have to go through an assessment uh, late applications then uh, for the mature applicants and for normal applicants are 1st of May uh, 2022 and 5 p.m. again and um, the same for the uh, normal applicants. Change of mind then begins, um, you can change your mind um, from the 1st of May to the 1st of July 2022 and the CEO offers these slide differ slightly for mature um, applicants following their assessment they'll usually get their um, offers around uh, early July 2022, fee tax students early August, and then leaving cert students uh, around the mid, uh, mid August 2022, all going well. Uh, the entry requirements, these are the general entry requirements that are, are, are required. So applicants are required to hold uh, leaving cert are an approved equivalent with minimum of six subjects, which much, must include two higher level grades and four ordinary level grades, or four higher level grades. Subjects must include maths, Irish, or another language, and English. And applicants also must hold an ordinary six or high, higher seven grade in one of the following laboratory science subjects. So biology, physics, chemistry, physics and chemistry, or agricultural science. Um, and these are just, each college has their own different requirements. So these are what UL requires. Uh, inquiries about an equivalent of an exam or qualifications other than the Republic of Ireland Leaving Cert, um, we would advise you to email the admissions office in UL and get specific um, information related to your uh, qualification or exam results. Uh, the QQI FETAC entry, again, certain QQI awards are acceptable in fulfill, fulfilling um, admission requirements for these programmes. And again, you need to go to the UL admissions page to get a full list of these modules. Uh, and then just for the mature applicants, uh, you need to go undergo an assessment test. Um, you need to be 23 years of age on or before January 1st of the year of enrolment. Uh, your mature applicants must register for an assessment test with the Nursing Imagery Board of Ireland um, and mature applicants can also be considered on the basis of educational requirements and such applicants should be consult uh, and all actually applicants should look at the Nursing Imagery Career a Career for You published by the Nursing Careers Centre. Um, so again, this is a little orange booklet you often hear about. Um, I would advise all students, anybody who's interested in Nursing Imagery, uh, to um, access that through the nursing careers um, website.ie www.nursingcareers.ie website that booklet is um, reproduced every year with new with new information um, or anything that's changed and it gives all information for leave insert and mature applicants fee tech so i would advise you all to read through um, that little orange booklet um, very carefully and it is freely available online for all students Just to talk about nursing imagery programmes here in the University of Limerick. Um, some of the areas of study, uh, well, obviously, you'll be doing theory and practice of nursing and midwifery. Uh, and all, although each programme, all the four programmes are specific and different, 
uh, we do share some common modules. So there are some uh, common core modules like communication, biological sciences, that you would be mixed with all four students from all four programs. And then each year you will have discipline specific. So there will be specific modules for nursing programs and specific modules for military programs throughout each of the semesters. That helps us, helps you as a student to focus on um, your core discipline of if it's nursing general or nursing intellectual disability or nursing uh, mental health or either midwifery as well. So it helps you to get a handle on your own um, program of study. Uh, we also have obviously clinical skills um, labs and practice placements. So the clinical skills labs, as I said already, are linked with the theory. So you will often have theory, mod theory modules where um, we will have lectures for two hours and then you will have a two hour lab also that um, puts the theory into practice and helps you to prepare practicing skills like just as simple as a vital signs and I always say as simple as when it's very important but taking vital signs um, how to communicate with people um, how to examine a newborn baby how to understand the um, anatomy of the body and how it how it impacts on the care of the mother or of the patients and then also of course you will have practice placements where um, you will be out on placement um, and you will be assessed while you're on placement to be to be deemed to be competent or not competent. Um, we also have health and social science related by, uh, disciplines as well, our modules, um, of biological sciences, which helps you to understand the body, the normal body, and then when things go wrong. And then social sciences as well, um, looking at the impact of our of society on the health and well-being of the community. Um, and this is uh, these are all um, done with throughout the four years of your program. This is just an example of some of the modules from the four undergrad programs that we are talking about. And these are the discipline specific modules that you're doing. And each of these discipline specific modules um, are just giving you an insight as a first year student into what is the core to being a student uh, midwife or to being a student nurse in general nursing and caring for adult patients um, who are ill, um, a student in the BSc nursing mental health, where how do I, what does it mean by um, mental health nursing? Um, how do I help patients who have psychiatric illness? Um, and how do I help recover, how to help recovering with recovery? And also with the BSc nursing intellectual disability, Again, understanding what is intellectual disability and helping um, how do I as a nurse, an intellectual disability nurse, help my clients or service users to uh, fulfill their full potential um, and all about inclusion in society um, and um, how we care for patients and clients and service users. The four programs that we're talking about in nursing and midwifery, um, there are four year honours degree programs. Um, the uh, programs com consist of two semesters. Um, semester one starts in September and ends in December. And semester two starts in January and ends in May. Um, I should also say that these are our theory modules that we're talking about, but we also have some um, practice placement modules that occur in each semester. And if students, for whatever reason, may not be able to complete them during this during the semester, or have a failed competency, um, they may have to repeat them during the summer um, uh, holidays, the annual leave, annual leave. So you know the theory has to be completed and passed in order to move through to the next year of the program. And the same with the um, practice placement modules. Um, students have to pass them um, and move through in order to be able to move through to the next year of the program. So, as I said, each semester has clinical placement and theory. Currently, the, the clinical placement um, for all programs has 40 week, 45 weeks of unrostered clinical placement. And then in the fourth year of the of all four programs, um, students will have 36, a 36 week internship, which is a paid internship. Um, in your final year, your fourth year of your program. Uh, the other thing I suppose is that we do have a very full program 
um, and lectures and labs can be scheduled Monday to Friday, 9 to 6 p.m. Um, uh, obviously, in between that time, there's there's you have periods of time off, but it is could be any of those days. And there's an expectation. We do expect students to attend um, placement or attend uh, theory lectures and placement um, to get the fullest um, impact of and learning from the program. Uh, I suppose that's the, the, the short, uh, it's a short little introduction to um, what we, our programs here in the Department of Nursing and Midwifery. Um, here's our contact details and you're welcome to contact any of us course directors um, and uh, we'll be happy to um, answer any emails that you have if you have any queries um, that aren't answered during today's session. Uh, thank you very much indeed for um, listening and wish you the very best of luck in your career options.